Hi guys. Many of the lyrical deep dives I've done in the past on this channel have been mostly focused on Oasis. And I found that amongst the Oasis fan base, I was perhaps on the more unusual side of things in seeing quite a lot of meaning in the songs. The press had historically always said that Noel's lyrics were garbage, and it seemed like many Oasis fans thought they didn't mean much as well. When I started looking at the Beatles, however, bloody hell, I officially met my match. Because while a small subsection of Oasis fans can lean towards hating any kind of intellectual analysis, I discovered that Beatles superfans are already like a hundred times further off the deep end than I've ever been on any band ever. And I also discovered that just as long as you don't take it seriously, all the Beatles legends and myths are a lot of fun to look into. My last video on the Beatles was a deep dive and lyrical reinterpretation of Sgt Pepper. And after making it, a ton of people got in touch with me to make me aware of a kind of secret song that's on the album that is considered to be part of the Paul is Dead conspiracy. A secret 14th song on the Sgt Pepper album, which is accessed by playing track 12 backwards. After the first half a dozen comments and messages pointing me to this, I decided to investigate. Track 12 on Pepper is Sgt Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, The Reprise. And this is available to listen to on YouTube in reverse. So I had a listen. And hearing the full song backwards, it does turn out that there are a ton of phrases and words that make sense in English the wrong way round. But as is often the way with kind of backwards songs, you can't quite make it out perfectly. So I decided to have a listen to the isolated vocals from that track to take them out on their own, flip them around and have a listen. And incredibly, well over 50% of it sounds like real words. Now I've had a crack at subtitling the nearest English words I can kind of make out. Some of it is plainly not words at all, but some of it really is eerily like true, actual, backmasked secret messages. I really had a laugh doing this, but have a listen now to the backwards vocal with my attempt at subtitles. So obviously the song was believed to be called It Was A Fake Moustache and the album came with a cardboard cutout of a fake moustache. What the hell? In a previous video I looked at the back masking easter egg in Free As A Bird where one way round it's John Lennon saying turned out nice again and the other way around it says made with John Lennon. It really is insane how that works but here we have not just a little phrase, but a whole song that seems to kind of mostly work fully in reverse. And just to make everything even more confusing, listen to this from Many Years From Now by Barry Miles. In November 1966, Paul decided to take a driving holiday in France. Eager to escape the constant attention of fans, he wore a disguise consisting of glasses and a fake moustache created by Wig Creations the film cosmetic company used by the Beatles on a hard day's night. Paul said, they measure you and match the color of your hair. So it was like a genuine mustache with real glue. I just wandered around and of course nobody recognized me at all. It was good. It was quite liberating for me. And so after Paul and Rhodey Mal Evans went to France, they then went to Kenya before starting work on Sergeant Peppers. The odds that this song backwards says it was a fake mustache and that the album came packaged with a fake moustache by coincidence 
are absolutely astronomical. So to be reasonable, I think we have to assume that this was planned. And here's how I think it all came about. At the stage when Paul came up with the Sgt Pepper idea, the Beatles were already very comfortably rich and could afford to take their time. In the song Rain, they had experimented with backwards tape and begun to take an interest in music and sounds played in reverse. I suspect, with time on their hands, psychedelic drugs freely available and space to experiment, they began playing around recording things and playing it backwards to see what it said. I wonder if Paul played around with dozens, if not hundreds, of different phrases at home on a tape player, forwards and then backwards, just mucking around to try and find something that worked in both directions. And I wonder if, after hours or days of this, he finally hit upon Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band being It Was A Fake Moustache backwards and went, that's it. A word that says one thing forwards and a different thing backwards is what you would call an audio anadrome. And though the whole thing sounds almost supernatural, it's not. It's actually surprisingly easy to figure out a little bit of backmasking on your own. With a bit of time, technical know-how and patience, you can refine a backmasked word or phrase to fine tune the pronunciation and get it just right. You do have to make little adjustments and compromises to the original phrase to make it work, but it's genuinely not too difficult. And can you imagine Paul's excitement when he hit on this? Imagine a creative artistic mastermind like Paul McCartney stumbling on this. He must have known it would drive people nuts for decades, which of course it has. That Mr McCartney is one seriously clever bastard. Now of course, as always, I'm just having a bit of fun here, but I thought just for a laugh, I would leave you with a full playthrough of the song, with the Beatles singing backwards, but all their instruments turned forward, section by section. Other than that, I've made very few edits. I've taken out the audience noise, and I've kind of nudged the vocals back onto the beat, but that's it. But I had a real laugh doing this, so I hope you enjoy the secret hidden 14th song from Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. It was a fake moustache. Let's go. 